Guys, if you're getting started with SharePoint views, this video is a must watch. In this video, I'm gonna show you the different ways of creating views in SharePoint Modern UI and cover all the different options in the views. We're gonna see how we can create not one, but several different views and what are the different options that a view provides. There are several different ways. There are actually two different ways to create views in SharePoint. One of the most popular way and the easiest way is using the modern UI. This is what you see is known as the modern UI. So this is a, an employee list which has got several different columns, first name, last name, job title, address, city, state, practices, and active. So as you can see, there are certain employees who are not active over here. So I'm gonna start creating a view which shows only active employees. And the easiest way to do it is pretty much just go over to the active column here, click on the drop down, and click on the filter by. As soon as I do this, the information pane on towards the right hand side appears. And this shows me all the different options that the active column has. Right now it's just yes and no. So I'm gonna select show me only active employees, so which is going to be yes, and then click on apply. And as soon as I do that, do this, SharePoint does realize that there's something which has changed in this view, and there's a small little star that appears right next to all items, which was not there before. This indicates that there are some unsaved changes. Also, what you see on the right hand side is the filters pane, and this shows a list of all those values that these columns have in them. And you can see that these columns, so these are pretty much all the different columns, and I can select the view and then just save the view. But I don't want to do that. The only thing that I wanted to do was create and create a view only for active employees. So I'm going to click on it again, and then the filter panel disappears. Along with that, I want to go ahead and, f and sort this whole view by the last name. So this is pretty much a A to Z, and this is what I have in here. So you can see that this is sorted by the last name. With last name sorted, I'm going to go ahead and save this view by clicking on Save View. And this is going to be creating a brand new view for me. I don't want to overwrite on the same view because all items are supposed to be all items. So it's a good practice to let to not disturb all items or any of those default views and then create your own custom views. I'm gonna name this view Active Employees. And this view is going to be a public view which means that it's going to be available to anybody and everybody. If I don't make this a public view then it's going to be available only to me. This becomes a personal view. Click on Save and you can see that now I see only active columns and nothing other than that. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the settings of this view in itself. And this is how the view was edited for the past 10 years in the older versions of SharePoint, which, which is now known as the classic UI. So now I am on the edit settings of the view and in here I can see that this the name of the employee is active employees. I can change it if I want over here. This is not a default view. The default view is still all, all items, which means that when the user goes to this list, the information that they see is the default view, which in this case is just the all items view. I can hide our show columns over here. If I uncheck this, then those columns disappear from the view. I can go ahead and sort them as well. If I wanna go ahead and move practices right after la last name, then instead of title, which is three, I'm going to go ahead and select practices as three. So now the sequence has changed and this now becomes three and uh, job title is now number four. I could have done this use, using the modern UI by just dragging the column from the right to the left as well. It's pretty much the same thing. The second thing that you see over here is sort. Remember when I clicked on last name and it's sorted, this is the setting that is saved. Last name is sorted by A, B, C, which is the ascending order. And I can have another column, a second column as well. Like if there are two users, if there are two Johns, then I want it to be sorted by the practice. So I can select the practice over here and then say the same thing again. 
sorted by practices as well. Another section over here is filters and you have seen that I have applied a filter which was active is yes and this is the setting that it had saved behind the scenes. Show items only when the following is true which is active is equal to yes. If I don't want any filters here I would just go ahead and click on show all items in this view. And there are a few other settings in here. If there are folders you can hide those folders as well or show items inside the folder or show all items without the folders as well. So if you have several different folders and if you don't want to see those folders you can select this option and it's going to show you all the items without the folders. There's an item limit as well. So the item limit right now is set to 30. Display the item in batches of this specific size. If there are more than 30 then it's just going to go over to a second page. So with these settings I hit on OK and I come back to my view again. So you can see that I can modify the whole view by either the modern UI over here which is I can just drag and drop these columns like for example if I don't want the practice over here again and I just want to go ahead and move the practice where it was before I can just drag and drop it. And this is going to write it back to the settings page that we have seen. So there's a star sign again over here and I can just go back over here and then click on save view and as soon as I do that it just pretty much just sets it again hit on save and then just overwrites the view with the same settings that I have before so this is how a view behaves and how you can customize the view a couple of the settings that I want to show over here is group by so I have states over here, state over here, and if I wanted to group it by the state, then I can just click on this over here and then group by the state. And you can see that it filters everything by the state. I'm sorry, it groups everything by the state now. There's one record for Illinois and there are two records for New York, there are two records for Wisconsin. And there's again a star sign towards the right. I can go ahead and click on save view as, and this is just going to overwrite the view that I had before. I can also I can also hide columns over here just if in case I don't want to see like address over here I can just click on the settings over here and uh, show or hide this column when I click on this it actually shows me a list of all those columns that I want to hide and as you can see that these are the columns which are visible right now so I can click on address scroll down or actually click on apply and it just basically hides the address. Hit on save. And again, you can verify it by going back using the classic route. Go back in here to the list settings page, and you can see that there is the address column, which is not which is unchecked, and that's the reason it's not available. If you want to see that again, just click on it again and then just hit on OK. If you like my video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel.